dear children welcome to the grammar class are you happy my dear children do you know that you are happy how will you show others that you are happy i ask so many questions now can you answer if you are happy and you know it kindly do the following shall we do now yes now i am going to sing a jingles first i will sing you just listen to it and then you just sing along with me i will show the jingles lines on the screen can you do it yes very good that's a spirit shall we start shall we sing a jingle now the lines goes like this if you are happy and you know it clap your hands if you are happy and you know it clap your hands if you are happy and you know it and you really want to show it if you are happy and you know it clap your hands okay so this is the first four lines shall i repeat again yes let's do from the beginning get ready if you are happy and you know it clap your hands if you are happy and you know it clap your hands if you are happy and you know it if you really want to show it if you are happy and you know it clap your hands now the second stanza it's go with click of fingers are you ready yes we'll start if you are happy and you know it click your fingers if you are happy and you know it click your fingers if you are happy and you know it and you really want to show it if you are happy and you know it click your fingers okay so second thing click your fingers first one clap your hands now we are getting into the third stanza so in this third stanza we are going to shout hooray will you do it come on shout it hooray yes that's right now the third stanza if you are happy and you know it shout hooray hooray if you are happy and you know it shout hooray hooray if you are happy and you know it and you really want to show it if you are happy and you know it shout hooray hooray okay so first answer we clapped our hands the second thing we clicked our fingers and third one we shouted hooray okay now we are going to do all the three together shall we do it will you do are you ready i am always ready what about you yes let's start if you are happy and you know you do all three hooray if you are happy and you know you do all three hooray if you are happy and you know it and you really want to show it if you are happy and you know you do all three hooray very good superb you, are, you did a wonderful job so in all the lines of the stanza what is the first word yes it is if so in this class we are going to see about if condition or if class conditional classes are used to speculate about what could happen what might have happened and what we wish to happen so these three things we have to keep in your mind in english most sentences using the conditional class by using the word if let's see the definition of if conditional class at first conditional classes conditional sentences are also known as conditional classes or if classes they are used to express that the action in the main class can only take place i repeat the action in the main class can only take place if a certain condition is fulfilled so when the certain condition is fulfilled then only the action will take place so keep these two things in your mind one is certain condition and second one the action a conditional sentence is composed of two parts the first part is condition part and second one its result look at the screen here if you read well you will get good marks we are having 
two parts in a sentence. The first part, if you read well, is a condition. So this is the condition. And what about the result? If you read well, what will happen? Yes, exactly, you will get good marks. So condition and followed by result. So two things, that is two parts in the if conditional sentence. The two parts of if class can be interchanged. That is, either it may be condition plus result or result plus condition. The order can be changed. So it is not a fixed rule that condition will have to come first followed by the result. We can interchange it at any time without affect the meaning. So the meaning will not get changed if we interchange these two parts. There are three types of if classes. Type one, just look at the screen, simple present plus simple future. In type two, simple past plus would plus v1, that is verb one. Type three is past perfect tense plus would plus have plus v3. So we will see these things in detail with many more examples. Are you ready? Yes. First conditional class that is type one. It is possible and also very likely that the condition will be fulfilled. Note the two words possible and second word very likely. So these two things you must understand very clearly. So the possibility of the action is very likely. So it has more chances for the actions to be happened. So it is given such a way that it is possible and very likely that the condition will be fulfilled. And let's see about the structure now. If plus the first part, that is the if clause, here we have to use simple present tense. And in the main class, we have to use simple future tense there. And what is the usage of it? Do you know it? We already saw that is it is possible and very likely. And now we will see about its usage. That is, if you wish to talk about the possibility in the present or future. So two things you have to keep in your mind to talk about the possibilities in the present or in the future. So we can say the situation is real because it is likely to be happened. So it is a real situation. Let's go with some examples now. First one, see the image. If I wake up late, I will miss the school bus. So here, what is the condition? If I wake up late, this is the condition. So if the condition is not fulfilled, then what will be the result? I will miss the school bus. So when the condition is fulfilled, it will give the result. So the sentence is given like this. If I wake up late, I will miss the school bus. Now look at this example. Here, if it rains, I will stay at home. If it rains, I will stay at home. Normally, if it rains, we won't come out. So we will stay safely at home. So that is given here. The condition which is given is if it's rain. If it is not rains, we can go out. But the condition is given, if it rains, I will stay at home. Now, the second conditional class, that is type two. It is possible, but very unlikely that the condition will be fulfilled. So here, just note the underlined word. So I have underlined two words here. The first word is possible. What about the second one? Unlikely, that is in very unlikely it is given such, okay? But earlier in type one, we saw about it is possible, but it is likely that condition will be fulfilled. But here, unlikely, that is the chances is not that much 
when comparing with the type 1. Let us see with the structure now. If plus simple past in if class, here we are having simple past as in the verb form. Then what will be in the result section? Here we have to use would plus v1. It is clearly shown in the image which you are seeing now on the screen. And the usage, when we have to use this type 2. Here, this second conditional class that is type 2 is to be used in imaginary situations, either in the present or in the future. In type 1, it is a real situation, but here it is imaginary situation. So, in situation, we can say it is unreal. Real situation is happened in type 1, here unreal situation in type 2. So, simple past plus would plus verb 1. That is a V1. What is it V1? Do you know what is mean by V1? That is the three forms of verb. Okay, I think you know very well about these things. V1, V2 and V3. V1 is simple present form. That is the present form of the verb is V1. What about V2? It is the past form of the verb. And we are having V3. Is it future? No, exactly right. It is not future. It is not present, past and future. It is present form and V2 is the past form and v3 is past participle okay just have this thing in the mind don't go with future it is past participle here we are using would plus v1 that is present form of the verb so this is about second condition class type 2 now it's a time to go with some examples shall we see now look at the image now so there is a beautiful car in this picture. I think it is a very luxury car, is it? I think it is a luxurious car, is it? Yes. So go with the sentence now. If I won the cash price, I would buy a new car. Let me say again. If I won the cash price, I would buy a new car. So what is the condition? If I won the cash price. And what about the result? I would buy a new car. It is unreal condition. Because the possibility is very likely here mentioned in this sentence. So, let us go with the another example. Example number 2. Now you are watching a beautiful aeroplane with many clouds there. Is it? Do you like? Yes, I like aeroplane very much. Let us go with the example now. If he won the flight, he would visit all places. Okay, here, what is the condition? If he won the flight. But I am not sure that he won the flight already. So it is here, unreal condition. So if he won the flight, he would visit all the places. That is, all the places in the world. So this condition is also somewhat related to the imaginary condition. That is unreal condition. Okay. So, the type 1 and type 2, you may have some bit confusion. So, let us see what is the actual difference between type 1 and type 2. Are you ready now? Yes. Let us see about differences between first conditional and second conditional classes. The first point. I like to share, it is not about difference of time. It is, we are not mentioning about differences in time when we are talking about the differences between first conditional clause and the second conditional clause. Because both structure can prefer to either in the present or in the future. But the change, we have to note this particular point that the second conditional class simply suggests that situation is impossible or imaginary. So, two things. Either it may be impossible one or it may be imaginary one. So, only we are using here very unlikely, that is unreal condition for second conditional class. 
So, this is the major difference between first conditional class and the second conditional class. Hope you are clear about these two things. Let us compare with the example for better understanding. Okay. See the screen now. If I win the first prize, I will be perfectly happy. Let me repeat again. If I win the first prize, I will be perfectly happy. This sentence is said by someone who has good chances of winning. So, he is very confident about his winning. So, he can say in a confident manner that if I win the first prize, I will be perfectly happy. Now, look at the second sentence. If I won the first prize, I would be perfectly happy. Let me repeat again. If I won the first prize, I would be perfectly happy. The second sentence, it seems that it is said by someone who has no chances or less chances of winning. That is the confidence level is not that much high. The possibilities also is very unlikely. So, here second conditional class are used to make a request or in a polite way also. This is another point you have to keep in your mind. The second condition class that is nothing but type 2, it can be used when you wish to make a request or in a polite form. Now it is a time to see the third condition class that is type 3. Look at the screen carefully now. It is impossible, note the word impossible here. It is impossible that the condition will be fulfilled because it refers to the past. Two words are underlined. Okay, what are the words? Can you read? Yes, exactly right. So, the first word is impossible and second word is the past. As this particular action refers to the past, we can say this action will not be possible, that is impossible. Okay, so let us go with the structure now. If plus present perfect tense. Here, what we have to use? Present perfect. What is the pattern for present perfect? There will be a subject and then have or has plus V3. What is V3? I said already. Do you remember it? Exactly right. V3 is nothing but past participle. So, here, if plus present perfect in the if that is in condition path and in the result section, we have to use would plus have plus V3. Once again, we are having V3 that is a past participle. But in the condition side, we have to use would plus have plus V3. What is the usage of it? It is completely a imaginary situation which refers to the past. Previously, in type 1 and type 2, we saw that these two things, it can be used either in the present or in the future. But here in type 3, it is entirely refers to the past. So, the situation is to be contrary to reality. So, it, it never happens. So, it is just contrary to the reality. So, these all these things that is structure and usage and situation you can see in detail on the screen now. Now it is the time to see some examples for type 3. I am ready. What about you? Yes, let us see. If I had won the gold medal, I would have been happy. So, here the two parts are there that is a condition and second one it is a result. First thing, if I had won the gold medal. So, here the particular person is conveying the information that he did not get the gold medal. By chance, if it was happened, that is, if I had won the gold medal and what is the result that time? I would have been happy, but now I am not happy because I did not want gold medal. So, I am not happy now, but I can visualize 
imaginarily that if I had won the gold medal, I would have been happy. Shall we see one more example for this? Yes. Look at the screen now. What is this? Yes. Yes, it's an invitation. Now let's go with the sentence. If I had found her address, I would have sent her an invitation. Here we are having two parts as usual. The first part, just note the first part in red. If I had found her address. So far, I didn't find her address yet. So, I am saying here, if I had found her address, I would have sent her an invitation. Did I send her an invitation now? No, I didn't send. So, this is the true condition that is uh, unreal and is contrary to reality, is a completely imaginary situation. So, this is example number two. The first part, if I had found her address and the second part is I would have sent her an invitation. Note here the second part, I plus would plus have plus sent is given. It's not send, is sent. That is send, sent, sent. That is a past participle form of the verb send is sent. So we are using here, I would have sent her an invitation. Now, I think you are very clear about these three conditional classes because we have seen this all the three with two two examples. Now, let's go with the next one. Are you ready? Yes. Dear children, now let's compare all the three types of classes together now. Shall we do now? Look at the screen now. Type 1, type 2, type 3 are given. Is it? So, we are having if class as a column and main class as a another column. Here, let us see the first one, type 1. Here, see the example first. If I study, I will pass the exam. Here, if I study, the tense which the class is given here is in simple present tense. And come to the main class now, I will pass the exam. Here, will plus infinitive is given. Earlier, we saw above that the same thing as will plus v1, that is nothing but verb 1, that is present form of the verb. Here, it can be represented as infinitive also. Type 2, simple past plus would plus infinitive, that is would plus v1. Let us see the example now. If I studied, I would pass the exam. So, the if class is mentioned here is if I studied and the main class is mentioned as I would pass the exam. Now, type 3, past perfect plus would plus have plus v3, that is nothing but past participle form. Let us see the example now. If I had studied, I would have passed the exam. So, if I had studied is the if class and the main class in this sentence is I would have passed the exam, okay. So, I think you are very clear about all the three types of if conditional classes. Now, let us go to the exercise part, okay. Will you do? Look at the screen now. Complete the conditional sentences. Decide whether to use type 1 or type 2 or type 3. So, I will give 15 seconds time. This image will be shown to you for 15 seconds. The timer will be there. You just find out the answer and then I will reveal the answer for all the three questions which is displayed on the screen. Will you do? Are you ready now? I believe that you are ready with your answers. Shall we check it now? Yes. Question number one. If I had time, I dash within the bracket go is given shopping with you. What is the answer? So, we have to use type 1 or type 2 or type 3. 
here what's the answer yes you are right if i had time i would go shopping with you so don't think that as had is given there don't think as some past perfect form like that had is nothing but that is the past form of the verb have so the answer must be in past that is simple past plus v1 that is infinitive so the answer is would go second question if you dash within bracket the verb is given as speak english you will get along with them perfectly what's the answer now look at the main class first here in the main class it is given you will get along okay will get it is given that is a will plus infinitive form that is will plus v1 so what should be the answer exactly which type it belongs to type 1 very good so it belongs to type 1 so what's the answer here we have to use the simple present form is it that is type 1 simple present form there we have to use will plus infinitive that is will plus v1 earlier we have discussed everything very clearly so the answer is if you speak english you will get along with them perfectly is it good now let's see the last question of the first exercise if they had gone for a walk they dash within bracket turn is given the lights off what's the answer here what is the clue we can get from this sentence yes we can get the clue from the if class part not from the main class part from the if class we can get the clue what clue do we get from here let's see again if they had gone which tense is belongs to yes exactly you are right so had gone it is given there okay past perfect so if we have past perfect in if class what would be there in the main class yes so would plus have plus v3 that is past participle form of the verb so what is the answer check your answer now so the answer for the sentence is check again if they had gone for a walk they would have turned of the lights okay super so we completed the first exercise very well many exercises are given in your textbook kindly go through it and try to find out the answers we will see you in the next class see you bye bye